Hey there, it's Chris from Good Roads, and I am trying to build myself a rope tow so that I don't have to unstrap and hike up the hill when I go snowboarding in my backyard. In the last video on this build, I got it running for the first time. I've still got a couple kinks to work out, but I now have a machine on my hand that's powerful enough to drag my butt up the hill. And with that kind of power comes some risk, comes some, some danger. So in this video, I'm going to be building an emergency shutoff system so that I don't get my mitts cut in the mechanical maw of my machine. Let's get to it. The beating heart of my safety system is going to be this. This is an emergency shutoff switch for power tools. I actually use the same model switch in my router table setup. It has a big fat target for the off switch, and once it's off, it stays off until you hit the on switch again. Now, I'm not sure if this is an outdoor friendly switch. I'm actually assuming that it isn't. So to keep the weather off the electronics, I designed and 3D printed myself a combination mount and hood for my switch. The switch gets bolted to the printed part. And the whole combo gets mounted to the frame of the rope toe. With the rope toe plugged into the switch, we can see how the shutoff switch works. Sweet. need something to come out here. Very cool. Great, but I wanna get it set up so that the machine shuts down if you get too close to the bull wheel. And I don't wanna have to hit a relatively tiny switch in order to make that happen. Just in the extremely rare case that someone is incapacitated and stuck to the rope, I wanna make sure that this is a system that will shut down sort of automatically. So to address this issue, I'm gonna use this little length of PVC tube to make a hoop that will go around the rope and activate the switch. I marked myself some lines and then used a heat gun to bend the PVC into shape. I used a pulley as a form for the larger curves. And this machinist vise for the flat areas. And I freehanded some of the tighter turns. I drilled the ends of my loop. And drilled corresponding holes in the frame. Once everything was drilled, I used a bolt to mount the hoop in place. Cool, cool, cool. Not as safe as you'd hope. I need it to be like bent forward. 
It's pretty good though. Okay, uh, a couple more bends and... Sick. Sick. Absolutely sick. That's awesome. Yeah! Safety and stuff. I like it. We're looking good, at least functionally. A little sanding and a coat of paint to get the hoop matching the rest of the lift. and we are good to go. I've now got a much safer backyard rope tow. So I'm almost done with this thing, which is good because as you can see, mother nature is telling me to hurry it along. I've got a couple optimizations I still wanna make to the drivetrain to reduce slippage and hopefully increase the speed a little bit. And I've also got some quality of life improvements that I wanna make in order to make it easier to maintain, run, and work on. But after months of on and off work, I can finally see the finish line of this crazy project. So if you'd like to see that and all of the other awesome DIY board sports stuff we do here on the channel, just go ahead and, you know, hit that there subscribe button. Huge shout out as always to my supporters over on Patreon. They really help keep the channel afloat. If you've got questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, I love having you along for the ride. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Proud of you, you worked hard. Good job, little heater. You really, you really made it work here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes they go fast. Sometimes they go fast. And I like that. Believe it or not, I don't like being in front of the camera. <laughs>